Well, here I am with Dan at the Matrox stand here at IBC 2013. Uh, it's a great stand with lots of products to look at, but we're going to focus on one in particular, which is a brand new product, really. It is the Monarch HD. Dan, tell us a little bit about this. Sure. Thanks, John. Uh, NEB uh, 2013, we introduced the Monarch HD. It's a streaming and recording appliance. Yep. We did that. Uh, great success. We had great uh, reception for the product. And uh, we're proud to say here at IBC 2013, we are shipping the product. So we'll be placing your order. So, And, you know, really, uh, we run four awards at the NAB here, and we'll hopefully see how things uh, go with the product here at IBC 2013. I'll tell you why this product was so exciting. Uh, one little device, standalone unit, uh, allows you to take uh, HDMI inputs and simultaneously stream and record that signal at two independent bit rates. So why is that very important? So I'm a, um, uh, a web broadcaster and I want to take my, my, uh, my production on the road. I want to be able to upload that content to a CDN of my choice yep. at whatever bit rate's available for me, whatever's convenient for their customers or for the site. So that can range from lower end SD or Traditionally, uh, 720p30 was just about the top end of what a live web stream could support. So say uh, two, three, four megabits per second. But certainly after the event's over, you want to uh, ensure that uh, you have that asset look as high quality as possible for download after. And one of the best ways to do that is actually record it at the highest quality possible independently um, at, the, at the same time as you're streaming it for a post-event editing, edit, or just simply uh, upload it as soon as the event's over. So I'll go through a run through what yeah. we have. Uh, Monarch HD, we've got a couple of ways to record to it. USB or SD card. And uh, very simple one-touch operation if you want to use it directly with yeah. a device. On the back end, we have input, HDMI input and loop out just to be monitoring, ensuring what you're seeing is, uh, is uh, properly a frame. Yep. Audio, if you want to monitor your audio separately, but the audio is also embedded on the HDMI signal. A locking power connector, and then you've got your IP uh, jack. So we'll be streaming from there, and one of the other interesting things about recording is you don't only record from the, don't only have these two options for rec local recording, you could actually be recording remotely, and that's what our demo is. Yeah. Um, we've got a Monarch here set up. Uh, we're streaming, our camera's at the top of our booth, and we're streaming 720p to our, uh, just another computer that's on our network. Yeah. Um, we have configured that using our, any computer on the same network can control this device. Right. And, I'm, and an iPad is just another computer. We're using yeah. simple web page con based control, so any computer on the network can, can, um, can control the device. Yeah. And uh, very literally, I'm right now streaming actively, and if I want to record, and I've got it set up to record to another computer on the network, which is actually connected to this monitor here, I can go ahead and touch the record button, and we'll see an icon is being created. So this is just, I can record to a networked computer. So in very useful if you're on set, you want to record directly to your edit, um, uh, do a quick edit after you finish recording, after the event's done, you edit the device for length or for content, upload to whatever um, uh, resolution or bitrate uh, you would like to export at, or directly upload right from that computer to your CDN after the event's done. So uh, very convenient. Again, any computer can uh, set up, control the device. If you don't want to be using it, you prefer just to use the one-touch record or stream buttons because ultimately you're, you set it and forget it, that's a way to control the device as well. Uh, we're shipping, again, as I said, we're shipping this product at the show, 795 euro for this device, uh, very competitively priced, uh, particularly for the, the, the features that we're offering. The last item I'd like to point out, we have plenty of gear to help complement a lot of our equipment here, yeah. and we've been asked an awful lot about SDI, uh, I.O., what if I have an SDI yeah. signal? And in fact, what we have here is an SDI camera yeah. feeding our Monarch through our HDI to HDMI converter. Uh, easy way to get um, to get the, the signal into it, and we're creating a kit for that to make our, our customers can easily buy the SDI uh, solution. Um, at, again, once again, very competitive price. It'll be 1095 for the com converter and the uh, Monarch HD. So that's that's the rundown of the, the Monarch HD, and I, uh, I hope uh, your, your viewers uh, see some value in a product like this. It looks an amazing product, and it's shipping now. And if people want to find out some information, obviously they can't get to the show, is there a website they can go to? Absolutely, matrox.com slash video.
Dan, thank you very much. Uh, go and have a look. It looks like an amazing product. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on it myself and giving it a good run through. Uh, everything else we're doing here at IBC you'll find on our website, which is broadcastshow.com. Transmitting across the world right now. Are you excited about this? Audience here, and hello to everybody watching on the web. Thank you so much for, for showing up for me. Welcome to the Threadneedle Parliamentarian of the Year Awards of 2011. Through the wonder of the World Wide Web, tonight's service can be seen throughout the world. Welcome to the start of a wonderful journey. <laughs>